Hello and welcome to KCOW News at Noon and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Amy Johnson. Now, the high stakes aerial drama has gripped the nation's attention since a Chinese spy balloon floated across the country. President Biden addressed the public about it today for the first time. And KCOW News senior reporter Ross Palumbo is uh, here now with what he really had to say about this. Ross. Well, Amy, just a few minutes ago, the president said that we still don't know exactly what all of the objects were. We're talking about the ones that flew over North American airspace in the last few days, but the president added that the U.S. shot them down out of an abundance of caution. The military is still working now to recover those objects. Biden said nothing indicates they're related to the Chinese surveillance program. One that was the size of a small car was downed over Alaska. Another with a tethered payload was shot down over the Yukon Territory in Canada. And then an F-16 fired two missiles at one on Sunday that was over Lake Huron. The president says at this point it appears these objects were private or research related. These incidents happened after a Chinese spy balloon was downed off the coast earlier this month. I want to be clear. We don't have any evidence that there has been a sudden increase in the number of objects in the sky. We're now just seeing more of them partially because the steps we've taken to increase our radars, to narrow our radars. And we have to keep adapting our approach to uh, delaying, to dealing with these challenges. That's why I've directed my team to come back to me with sharper rules for how we will deal with these unidentified objects moving forward. But make no mistake, if any object presents a threat to the safety and security of the American people, I will take it down. Well, Biden says he's now instructed his national security advisor to lead a government-wide effort to address the situation. The U.S. will establish a better inventory of airborne objects, improve the capacity to detect them, update the rules surrounding unmanned objects over the U.S., and help establish global rules so the entire planet mm -hmm. essentially is following those same rules, Amy. Now, you were a White House correspondent when mm -hmm. Biden became president. What's the political significance of him speaking today? Well, it's really all about politics is why he came to the mic today. It's really twofold. First of all, there's the ongoing diplomatic crisis with the only other superpower, China. You know, remember, their defense minister still has not spoken to our defense secretary, Lloyd Austin. Mm -hmm. President Biden says he will speak now directly with President Xi to uh, smooth this over. And of course, the other aspect is he's been receiving nonstop criticism from Republicans in Washington, and this will go a long way towards answering their concerns. All right, Ross, thank you so much. Sure. We appreciate it.